Our kids are back in school from spring break. They're also back out onto the fields and the courses and all those other great places where they play their games. Justin Jarrett sets us up for the week. Hey, it's Monday, and that means it's time for an extended edition of Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by locosports.com. Other than that little golf tournament happening down on the south end of the island, it was a relatively slow week on the local sports front, with the majority of area high school teams taking a breather for spring break, but things ramp back up this week with the postseason bearing down on us as the spring season draws to a close. We were treated to yet another dramatic final round Sunday at Harbortown Golf Links, where Matthew Fitzpatrick made birdie after a sensational approach at the 18th to defeat defending champion Jordan Spieth on the third playoff hole and win the RBC Heritage presented by Boeing. It was another stellar event with an incredible leaderboard, and it ended with bonus golf for the second straight year, with Spieth finding himself on the wrong end of the playoff this time around. And speaking of playoffs, it's time. The high school lacrosse playoffs begin this week, and several loco squads are looking to make deep runs, though they'll face uphill odds. Hilton Head High's girls have been the class of the area, and they drew the number six seed in the Class 4A playoffs, and will open at home Tuesday against Academic Magnate. If the Seahawks advance, they'll likely have to travel to number three seed Riverside in the second round. May Rivers girls slipped into the field as the number 15 seed and traveled to region rival Lucy Beckham in the first round. We'll get a loco on loco clash in the boys' first round as the Hilton Head Seahawks are the number five seed and host the 12th seeded Buford Eagles. May Rivers boys are the number six seed and drew a home game with region rival James Island in round one. The high school soccer playoffs are nearing as well and teams are jockeying for position for all important seeding. The Buford Eagles have key matches with Hanahan this week and the Bluffton girls have a massive rematch at James Island on tap Tuesday. The Bobcats stun the defending state champs at home and they will try to duplicate the feat to lock down the tiebreaker over the Trojans on Tuesday, while the Wade Hampton Red Devils have already secured the top seed from Region 6-2A. We said most area teams took a breather this week, but that wasn't true for the baseball teams from May River, Hilton Head Christian Academy, and Buford High, who burned up the road to Hanahan for three days of tough competition at the HIT tournament. The Sharks picked up a pair of wins over teams from North Carolina to finish 2-1, while HHCA knocked off Lucy Beckham in its opener before dropping its last two games, and Buford claimed a 3-0 win over Woodland, sandwiched between a pair of narrow defeats. It's back to a full slate this week with key region matchups all over the loco, including a Region 7-4A showdown between James Island and Hilton Head High tonight at the Nest, a pivotal Region 8-3A series between Buford and Hanahan this week, and a rivalry clash at Hilton Head Prep on Wednesday, as the Dolphins try to sweep the season series from HHCA. The Region 6-2A champion Wade Hampton Red Devils also pay a visit to May River on Thursday for an intriguing non-region matchup. The softball diamonds will be just as busy and the stakes just as high. May River and Colleton County square off atop the Region 7-4A standings tonight and Wednesday, and Buford faces Hanahan in a matchup of Region 8-3A powers to highlight a busy slate. We'll keep you updated on everything happening around the Loco and get you prepared for the postseason all week long with live podcasts on the Loco Media YouTube channel and daily reports right here on Last Night in the Loco. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco. Thanks to all of our guests for hopefully making us a little bit smarter over the last half hour, and especially thanks to you for taking the time to join us. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes. I'm Bob Stevens.